I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Tigers vs. Yankees My best pick is Tigers win San Francisco starter Keaton Wynn has had three consecutive strong outings allowing three runs on 11 hits across 18 innings. Philadelphia starter Ranger Suarez has allowed just one earned run over the last four starts across 30 innings. Therefore, the play here is under. The under has cashed in each of San Francisco's last six and in five of the last six that San Francisco has played on the road. Red Sox vs. Twins my best pick is Overwin. Boston of Masataka Yoshida is currently on the 10-day injured list with a thumb injury and could require surgery. Through 33 games, Boston ranks 7th in OPS and 10th in runs scored. For the season, Minnesota ranks 9th in OPS and 15th in runs scored. Take the over. White Sox vs. Cardinals. My best pick is Over 8 runs. Chicago of Luis Robert, hip, is taking batting practice and hopes to return later this month. Through 32 games, Chicago ranks 30th in OPS and 30th in runs scored. For the season, St. Louis ranks 28th in OPS and 28th in runs scored. Take the over. Brewers vs. Cubs. My best pick is Under. Although Milwaukee has the best record in the MLB in hitting the over, this is a game I do like the under in. Taylor should be able to limit the Brewers' offense, while Chicago doesn't produce many runs as this seems likely to be a 3-1, 4-2 type of game here. The Cubs are 17-14-1 and hitting the under this season while at home they are 7-6. Take the under here with Taylor on the mound. Rockies vs. Pirates My best pick is Pirates win. The Pirates have won five of their previous seven matchups with the Rockies dating back to the 2022 season. The Rockies have been a dreadful road team in 2024, winning only 12.5% of their games. They have lost each of their four series away from their home stadium this season. Their batters rank towards the bottom of the league in multiple categories, including average runs scored per game, so they may lack the firepower to mount a comeback on the road if they find themselves down early. The Rockies pitching staff has been a disaster thus far, ranking dead last in Team ERA with 6.00. Adding to Colorado's woes in this contest, Pittsburgh's pitching staff has produced a 2.80 ERA and averaged 10.6 strikeouts per nine innings in their last five games at PNC Park. Gumber has struggled against the Pirates in his career, producing an 8.01 ERA in 23.1 inning pitched against them. He gave up nine runs in two innings in his last start versus Pittsburgh last season. The stats and trends strongly support a comfortable Pirates victory against the Rockies on Saturday afternoon. Jays vs. Nationals My best pick is Over 8 runs These teams were able to combine to score 12 total runs on Friday's game and these pitchers are not overwhelming hitters. Both starting pitchers have been giving up too many hits and that is going to be a tough spot to get zeros on the board as Kevin Gaussman has a .281 batting average against while Jake Irvin has a .258 opposing batting average so far this season. Both teams in the last week of action have been giving up enough runs where going with the over feels like the better option as the Nationals are 20th with a 4.13 team ERA in that stretch while the Blue Jays are just ahead of them sitting at 19th with a 4.08 team ERA during those games. When lowering it to just this series, Toronto's bullpen allowed seven runs in two innings and were forced to use five different pitchers, including Genesis Cabrera throwing 28 pitches. Vic teams were also able to score runs with two outs and runners in scoring position, which is not always easy. 
These offenses should be able to hit so go with over 8 runs as the better option for this game. Marlins vs. Athletics My best pick is Marlins win Miami has won 7 of the last 8 head-to-head versus Oakland and the Marlins have won 5 the last 7 played on the road versus the Athletics. The Athletics are also 2-11 in the last 13 versus an opponent from the National League East. Oakland starting pitcher Paul Blackburn has been roughed up in each of the last three outings, allowing 13 runs on 18 hits across 15 and two-thirds innings while serving up four home runs over that span. Braves vs. Dodgers My best pick is Dodgers win. This upcoming game between the Braves and Dodgers features two powerhouse teams in baseball. The Braves will send Bryce Elder to the mound as their starting pitcher. This season, Elder has performed impressively with a record of 1-0, maintaining a 1.50 ERA. On the other side, the Dodgers will have Tyler Glasnow starting for them, who has had an exceptional season with 5 wins and 1 loss, and a 2.72 ERA. It is anticipated to be a competitive matchup between these two talented pitchers and their respective teams. Atlanta has struggled a bit as of late and something tells me that Glasnow will pitch a great game in front of a large crowd at home against Atlanta. Giants vs. Phillies My best pick is Under 8 runs San Francisco starter Keaton Wynn has had 3 consecutive strong outings allowing 3 runs on 11 hits across 18 innings. Philadelphia starter Ranger Suarez has allowed just one earned run over the last 4 starts across 30 innings. Therefore, the play here is under. The under has cashed in each of San Francisco's last six and in five of the last six that San Francisco has played on the road. Angels vs. Guardians My best pick is Cleveland minus 1.5 runs. The Guardians and Angels both come into this series looking to redeem themselves as they've both been struggling as of late. Cleveland has been the much better team at the plate. Expect them to pick up the win on home field. Orioles vs. Reds My best pick is Orioles minus 1.5 runs The Baltimore Orioles are coming off a very strong series against the Yankees, while Cincinnati is looking to bounce back after a shaky couple games against the Padres. Andrew Abbott has been reliable this season. Expect him to lead Baltimore to their fourth win in five games. Rangers vs. Royals My best pick is Rangers win Choosing between these evenly matched teams, the Texas Rangers have the edge due to stronger offensive stats and recent form. Both teams have strengths, but Texas's superior slugging and on-base percentages might just tip the scales in a game that promises to be closely contested. Look for the Rangers to exploit the slight vulnerabilities in Kansas City's defense and edge out a victory in what promises to be a competitive series opener. Mariners vs. Astros My best pick is Astros Moneyline The Astros will start Framber Valdez in the second game of this series. In his first start since April 2nd, Valdez pitched well returning from elbow inflammation. He allowed two runs over five innings against the Rockies in Mexico City. They limited him to 71 pitches, and he pitched well in the altitude in Mexico City. He should have the same level of success facing a Mariners team 25th in OPS. Houston is straddled with a bad record, but they are suffering from some bad luck and get one of their more consistent pitchers back for his second start in a month. They have won four of their last five and will get another win with Valdez on the bump. Take the Astros to win. Mets vs. Rays My best pick is Mets win. The Mets are positioned better both offensively and on the mound. Luis Severino, with a 2.31 ERA, appears more reliable than Zach Little, who has struggled with a higher ERA of 4.63. Coupled with the Rays' pitching woes and the Mets' solid defensive play, the scales are tipped in favor of New York. Padres vs. Diamondbacks My best pick is Padres win Both teams, the San Diego Padres and the Arizona Diamondbacks, are aiming to secure definitive victories in this series. Both teams have a win-loss record below .500 at the moment. 
San Diego starting pitcher, Michael King, has won two games and lost three with an ERA of 5.00, while Arizona starter, Brandon Pfad, is 1-1 with an ERA of 4.63. The Padres recently won a series against the Cincinnati Reds and are eager to replicate that success against the Diamondbacks.